textiles are uh, the first architecture, like tents. So in that sense, uh, textile was for a long time in architecture. But uh, as a quality, uh, textiles are the lightest and strongest construct that you could think of. So it has a lot of potential to build with textiles. So textile has a lot of uh, qualities uh, because it is an empty, empty vehicle. So you can add all functions that you need, like sound absorption or tactile, uh, a textile surface, or if you want to have transparency, if you want to have strength, and you weave with carbon, like all the cars and, and, and uh, airplanes are woven from carbon. So you can really uh, add whatever you need in, in, your, in your material because it, it's all there. It's an, empty, it's an empty material in a way. What is also interesting about textile is that you can unfold it. So uh, what I did as a research since a few years, weave 3D constructs. So with multi-actual uh, weaving uh, on the loom, what makes it uh, uh, that you can fold it. So you weave it flat, everything is flat woven. And, and, uh, and so you, you uh, cut up the warp in eight layers and then you, you fold it out and you have a construct volume. So cubes or uh, modules in the back, you see some modules, they are, they are uh, moving uh, in and out because they uh, uh, have solar yarns in it. So they react on sunlight and then they pop out and in. You could also have conductic yarns in it. So you can e add energy to, to the textile. So in that sense, there are many fun functionalities that you can weave within the woven construct. And, uh, and I also think we need to replace beton and cement in, in the building or in the construction uh, 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 in the way we construct. So this could be this lightness is such an advantage uh, that I think this is really a, a future. Also, if you think of flying cars or platforms that we have to build for all the flying cars. So we have to have very, very light constructive things on our buildings to receive helicopters or drones or whatever so there is i think and if if you have something that could unfold like you have a balcony or a platform that reacts on the sun or reacts on energy you could unfold your 3d construct what's hanging on the facade so that's a way i'm thinking now for this 3d uh, weaving we only only think in textile as a flat surface only as a skin but it is really a constructive material. And I'm not only doing this as an artistic approval. I know because I also went to loom builders, the, the one who are, built, are building all the looms in the world. They have now, they are developing a 3D uh, weaving uh, machine, a loom. So it is really in the mind of many people, also in bios, biomedical science, to do little constructs to replace things in your body. So this 3D weaving is really a future of thinking uh, in, uh, in, in light constructs. So in design, in industrial design, uh, I know there is a lot, of, there's a big revolution behind the screens to get all your materials without any uh, carbon footprint. So uh, all materials have to be rethink of, you know, you can't use leather. We can't use uh, cotton, we can't use wool, we can't use, and also in, in terms of textile, can you still use textiles in the public realm? Is it still uh, hygienic enough? You know, if we remove all textiles in the buses, in the trains, uh, whatever, where in public buildings, we have to replace it. And what is to replace it? Is it plastic? What to do with plastic? Plastic is also, has also a poison uh, uh, background. So. You know, it's not so easy. There is a, it's a huge topic in, uh, in, 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 uh, in design, in industrial design, what to do with textile, what to do with all our materials. It's a show uh, that will open uh, next week. It is about uh, uh, weaving, not as a technique, but as a cultural phenomenon. And uh, it is uh, about the cultural, social, and uh, spiritual realm of uh, 
textile and weaving. In the early days, uh, spindles and spinning was to understand the world, the turning of the sun and the moon, and, uh, and also to understand fate. So I would like to change the fate or, or address the fate and what can we do as a human being uh, living in Anthropocene? You know, we are now spinning yarns for a new world and uh, we have to be careful which yarn to spin now. So that's a part of the show and in, in, an active part where also visitors can uh, join. Also, we will dance a yarn together with visitors. And there is the future of uh, textile. So this is the 3D weaving. So uh, the, the modules uh, with solar yarns uh, and also another loom that are built specially for this uh, to weave on another in another way, 3D, because the, the, the machines are not existing yet. So that's why I built my own machines also to stay creative. Uh, man and machine, I think it's an important topic uh, to address because all the machines now are not, no longer creative. They are just efficient, they're just economic robots. Uh, that's why I think uh, to innovate, you have to build your own machines.